Life Audio. Hello. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Bible Verse, the podcast that examines one verse each day to learn more about God and His will for us. I'm your host, Jennifer Slattery, and after this short word from our sponsor, we'll dive into today's Bible verse, Ephesians 3.16. This episode is brought to you by He Gets Us, a nationwide campaign all about raising the respect and relevance of Jesus. Did you see the Super Bowl ads about Jesus? Are you wondering how you can get involved? He Gets Us is a multi-year effort to raise the respect and relevance of Jesus in the United States. Thanks to this unprecedented campaign, millions of Americans are discovering the life-changing impact of Jesus, and we want you to be a part of the movement. Join more than 45,000 He Gets Us fans, getting the latest updates, inspiration, prayer ideas, and easy-to-share resources via text message by subscribing to our fans' community. To do so, text FANS to 70193. By being a fan, you can get exclusive updates on new ads, events, and other exciting news related to the He Gets Us movement. We'll also keep you inspired by giving you access to reading plans, prayer guides, and other tools to help on your spiritual journey. Join this community of like-minded individuals who share your passion for spreading the love of Jesus. Simply text FANS to 70193 to join today. Do you sometimes doubt if you're truly hearing God's voice or if it's really your own? Or have you been in a season where it feels like He has been completely silent? Have you been praying for a way to learn how to hear His voice more clearly? Hey friends, I'm Rachel, host of the Hearing Jesus podcast. If you are ready to grow in your faith and to confidently step into your identity in Christ, then join me as we dig deep into God's Word so you can learn to live out your faith in your everyday life. To listen now, go to lifeaudio.com or search Hearing Jesus on your favorite podcast app. Today's Bible verse is Ephesians three sixteen. I pray that out of His glorious riches, He may strengthen you with power through His Spirit in your inner being. When I was a young mom and my daughter was a toddler, I routinely felt exhausted, uncertain, and overwhelmed. I wanted to be the best mother possible. I wanted to respond to behavioral challenges with patience and grace and the perfect wisdom for every situation. I wanted to love my daughter and my husband well, but I routinely felt that I had failed. I remember watching more mature Christians comparing myself, my parenting, my marriage, my overall daily living. They seemed so perfect, so kind and gentle and not easily irritated. Granted, I now realize much of what I saw on Sunday morning wasn't indicative of reality, that everyone has their gunk. But I've also learned the secret to every loving, patient, and peace-filled interaction that I saw or that I experienced within myself. The men and women who most resemble Jesus Christ are those who are led and empowered by him. Those people I used to watch on Sunday morning, they had learned something that I hadn't yet, and that's this. We cannot live and love others well the way we desire and the way they need in our strength. We experience true and lasting transformation, soul deep change, not through striving, but instead through abiding, through learning to rely more consistently on the Holy Spirit deposited into our souls the moment we surrendered our life to Christ. Therefore, one of the best prayers you and I can pray for ourselves and for our loved ones is the one the Apostle Paul recorded in Ephesians chapter 3. He wrote, beginning with verse 16 and continuing through verse 20, I pray that out of his glorious riches, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith. And I pray that you being rooted and established in love may have power together with all the Lord's holy people to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ and to know this love that surpasses knowledge that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us. Did you catch how Paul bookended his prayer? 
he began by asking that God would strengthen the Ephesians internally through the power of the Holy Spirit. And he closed proclaiming that God would indeed do more than he or they could ask or imagine, that he would transform them so completely, their transformation would defy explanation. And notice as well Paul's mention of the inner man. This reminds me of Jesus' rebuke to the Pharisees in Luke chapter 11 when he chastised them for their ceremonial washing, their obsession with external cleansing while neglecting the internal cleansing of their hearts. That's always Christ's focus. He cleanses us internally, first exposing, then breaking the power of sin in our lives, and then he fills us with a new power the Holy Spirit's pure and life-giving power. Through him, along with the truths preserved in scripture, we need both. He gives us everything we need to do everything he's asked, whether that's working through hard stuff in our marriage, fighting with equal parts love and truth for a rebellious teenager, or remaining calm when someone cuts us off in rush hour traffic. I also find it significant what Paul didn't pray for. He didn't ask God to shelter the Ephesian believers and to keep annoyances or hardships from them. Instead, he prayed that they would receive everything they needed through faith in Christ and the power of the indwelling Holy Spirit to stand strong through them, to give them everything they needed to thrive in every situation. And here's the good news. If you have trusted in Christ for salvation, Scripture says that you have resurrection power within. Now think about that for a moment. The same power that rose Jesus from the dead, that brought life to a corpse left in a tomb for three days, lives in you and I. Therefore, when battling a sinful and enslaving behavior, the question is never, can we overcome, but will we? Will we choose moment by moment, prayer by prayer, and day by day, to turn to Jesus, seeking his strength made perfect in our weakness. The more we learn to surrender, to hit pause in the middle of our hectic and stressful days, to simply rest in God's presence, to remind ourselves that he is indeed present, in that moment to seek his perspective and to rely on him, the more we experience his power unleashed within us. Again, you and I have all we need in Christ to live spirit-led, and spirit-empowered lives. The greater our reliance on him, the greater our victory. And we can trust him with our yes. We can trust him with our obedience because he loves us. The more that we understand his love, the more we will naturally want to surrender to him because we know that he always has our best in mind, that he is always leading us towards increased power, increased peace, and increased freedom. Let's pray. Holy Father, thank you for your son. Thank you that we are so amply supplied. Thank you for the gift of your Holy Spirit living within us, stirring us, teaching us, guiding us, giving us strength, telling us when to speak and when to be quiet, and giving us the strength to obey. Lord, we have a lot of battles. We battle our sin. We battle our pride. We battle our irritability. We battle our impatience. We battle our greed. But we know that the one who is in us, the Holy Spirit's power within us, is greater than any battle we might face. We know we can overcome because your son overcame. Help us to learn to rely on him more fully. Help us to turn to him more consistently, even if just for a moment just hitting pause for maybe five seconds to just quiet our thoughts and to remind ourselves that, God, you are here and that you are living within us and that you give us everything we need for everything we face. Make that a habit, Lord. Remind us to do that. Remind us of your love. Remind us of your truth and remind us of your power. Teach us to live in that power. It's in the name of your son we pray. Amen. Your Daily Bible Verse is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com.
Christmas. For most kids, it's the most joyful time of the year. But this Christmas, 1.5 million children will spend the holiday separated from a parent because their mom or dad is behind bars. Prison Fellowship Angel Tree needs churches in our communities to volunteer to bless local children with a gift, the gospel, and a loving message from their parent. I believe this is an incredible opportunity for our listeners to share the love of Jesus this Christmas. Many of Prison Fellowship's partner churches continue ministry to local Angel Tree families after Christmas is over. Through this ongoing care, Prison Fellowship Angel Tree strengthens and encourages families every day. Angel Tree wouldn't be possible without the help of faithful volunteers. If you're ready to make an eternal impact in your community, please register today at angeltree.org backslash church. That's angeltree.org backslash church. Miracles are everywhere. Let our adventure begin! Discover Pure Flix, your premium streaming service where faith and family values come home. Ready to have some fun? The most exclusive selection of quality, wholesome movies and series that will uplift your spirit. A man can argue whether God exists, but when he looks at his daughters, he knows. With new arrivals every week. Unbelievable. Save big and enjoy the possibilities, like invitations to exclusive theatrical screenings. I see it, so I believe it. Find out more by joining today at pureflix.com. Once in a generation, a podcast comes along with the power and eloquence to inspire us all. This show will entertain you while you wait for that one. Join two best friends, author and former history teacher John Driver and comedian Johnny W. for hilarious and authentic conversations about life, history, culture, faith, and everything in between. You can listen to Talk About That wherever you find your podcasts or at lifeaudio.com. 